Hi everybody, my name is Troy. Today I'm going to be talking about my Horizon Hobby uh, Vortex 250 Pro. So if you guys are uh, interested in um, FPV racing, then you'll probably heard of a company called Immersion RC. So they designed this uh, 250 size multi-rotor and I guess they partnered up with Horizon Hobby to um, manufacture them or I guess produce some of them so if you buy the blade vortex 250 pro it uh, the difference between buying it from horizon hobby blade is it comes with a receiver whereas if you buy it from immersion RC it comes uh, just with the multi-rotor itself and you'll have to provide your own uh, receiver and transmitter so um, I'm, I'm new to, to, to FPV. I, I purchased a, a 200 QX. I learned how to fly with that. I purchased a Nano QX uh, FPV and I learned how to fly with the uh, goggles and all of that. And I decided, you know, I, I feel pretty comfortable flying without stabilization. I feel pretty comfortable flying without, I'm sorry, flying through the goggles. So I thought maybe I'll step it up and I'll get a really nice racing drone, something that'll have some good speed to it, good quality, you know, carbon fiber, pre-assembled, all of that. I'm trying to take this out here. Let me actually set the camera down. Hold on. There we go. Sorry. So I'm not really... Uh, like a build-it-yourself kind of person. So I purchased this because I didn't want to buy a, uh, a receiver. I didn't want to have to solder anything. I don't want to have to open it up. I don't want to have to do any of that. Uh, I just want to bind my transmitter to it, plug in a battery, and then fly the thing. So I got this yesterday. It's brand new. It's in the box. I just took everything out as you guys watched, and uh, it's dead. So I'm going to plug this in because I, I read that you're not really supposed to turn on a, um, you're not supposed to power a video transmitter if you don't have an antenna on it, so let's just plug this in anyway. Come on. There we go. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. The flight controller, the power board, the ESCs, all of that work, except this. I'm going to give it a second to autofocus. The receiver, which you see here, hopefully I'm not holding this upside down. That would be embarrassing. It says auto bind. So the way that this receiver works is you power the, the multi rotor, there's a light. It flashes, you turn your transmitter on, it connects, and there you go. So if I plug mine in, and sorry for the camera work. So it powers on, and I'm actually gonna, no, it's not gonna help, okay. It's just that this light on my camera is actually kind of bright. Let me see if I can turn that off. There we go. Okay, so you see the, the flight controller on there, that's that's turned on, and you're supposed to wait like 10 seconds or something like that, and then a light's going to flash on here, but there's no light flashing. And what I'll do is I'll unplug it, so I unplugged it there, I'm going to plug it back in, and you'll see just for a brief second how the light flashes. Right, so you see that? So unplugged, plug it in for a second. We have that focus, come on. Give it a second. I'm connecting it and disconnecting it here repeatedly so you can see that there's a light there. We'll plug it back in. Plug that back in. So that light is supposed to flash. It goes into bind mode, and then you bind your transmitter to it. But 
this piece is dead. It's dead right out of the box. Can't even fly it. The reason why I purchased this is because I don't have to deal with any work of connecting or putting it together. I don't want to have to assemble it. I don't want to put a, put a receiver on it. I don't want to have to do any of this stuff. I just want to put a battery on it and fly it. That's why I bought this one. And uh, blade, let, blade with the Vortex 250, they, they, let, they let me down. Um, I can't fly it. It's dead. There's uh, a back order for replacement parts. I, I, at, at this point, it's taken all the fun out of wanting to learn something new because I received something that was dead in the mail. Like it, it takes all the fun out of it to receive something that you hope is going to be simple, easy, you connect to it and fly it, and it's dead. Um, let me show you one other thing. Okay, so these are my Fat Shark goggles. And hopefully this isn't impossible to see. It probably will be, but you'll see it says Vortex 250 Pro Transmitter Setup Wizard. And every time it beeps, you just beep right there, and it's kind of coming in and out of focus, it changes the transmitter that it's trying to set up. So there's CPPM. That's supposed to, it's kind of blurry, but it says Spectrum uh, 24. 2080, 2048, I think is, is what it says. Anyway, it says right there, no receiver detected. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better in focus. So this whole thing here is dead. I can let it sit there. It doesn't really do anything. It just kind of beeps, and then the lights on the back slowly light up all the way across. I mean, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't get me in the air. I can't fly it that way. So um, if, if you guys are looking at purchasing the Blade Vortex 250, um, keep in mind you might receive one that's completely dead, just like mine. Uh, I, I saw, I, I did a Google search, because you know I'm thinking maybe I'm not the only one. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here to get it into to bind mode. Um, there's, there's on, on a forum, there's one person who experienced something similar. Uh, I called Blade. Uh, they, they said that there's like a, a, a trick to get it to work and you have to connect it to another receiver and all this other crap. I don't want to have to deal with that. I want to fly it. You know, I want to connect my transmitter to it. I don't want to have to do all this other crap to get it to work. Um, so if you're looking at the Vortex 250, uh, just be careful. Yours might arrive dead.